So let me show you how to test uh, carry out performance testing of MySQL database using Apache Gemita. So this is Apache Gemita right here. So I'm just going to open it. And after opening it, we are going to try to do a performance test of Microsoft uh, of, of, of MySQL database. All right, so um, before you can do performance tests of MySQL database, you actually need to download the driver, that is the JDBC driver uh, for MySQL. So if you go to my SQL JDBC driver download, you can get it uh, somewhere here. So it's called uh, uh, Connect4j or something like that. So you can see uh, my operating system is a Windows uh, platform independent, it's okay. And I'll just download the Z, which is this one. So, yeah, this one. So, you need to uh, just download, just download, that is fine. So, after downloading it, uh, I will unzip it. Meanwhile, I've opened JMeter. If you are joining me for the first time, just uh, subscribe. If you've not subscribed, hit the subscribe button below. And this is JMeter. So the first thing we want to do, we are going to select the, uh, the, the, the JDBC connector we downloaded. That is from here, browse. So let's see. All right, so let me go to where it's downloaded and let me just open the uh, on zip it so you can see my SQL connector Java 8 point, uh, 8 point whatever extract files so it's still in my download folder so it's just one single Java file that we need so if I open up this so you can see my SQL connector and you can see this is it uh, yeah this is it right here so I'm going to go to JMeter and I'm going to browse from here and select wherever it is. So you see my download folder. If I can find my download folder, that should be great. So download. Um, it should be MySQL connector and open up. And this is it. Okay, select it. All right, so the next thing you want to do, you can rename this to be demo plan. Okay, let's call it MySQL plan. MySQL plan and just save it. Save. So the name changes to MySQL plan. That is fine. Okay, so it saves as a GMX file. So GMX file. Then I'm going to right click and say add, add a config element. And we are going to go to JDBC connection configuration. So at this point, I would like to show you the database I want to test. So let me use MySQL command line. So if you have MySQL command line tool, or if you have MySQL installed on your system, you can use the command line to, to view the databases instead of opening up Workbench. So if I say show databases, you can see databases, and I want to use testDB. So I can say use testDB, show tables. So I have a table called telescope data. So this telescope data, I'm going to test the performance of a JDBC query uh, signed to this table. All right, so in JMeter, you need to give the pool a name. So under variable name for created pool, just give it a name. Any name is okay. MySQL underscore pool. Now you need to pay attention to this place because this is where you actually need to specify everything. So the database URL is going to be JDBC, JDBC, colon, my SQL, colon, uh, double, uh, double slash, localhost. Now you need to know the port where your MySQL is running. MySQL on my own is running on 3301. I'm going to show you in a moment how to find out the port. Now the database name you now specify, it. the database name is testdb. All right. So that is fine. The driver class name, you can select it. It should be listed somewhere here. So it should be org. Um, org. Sorry, com.mysql.jdbc. Let's look for it. com.mysql.jdbc, the driver right here. Username is root. So when I set up my MySQL, I use root as a username. And password is root as well. Remember, after now, we are going to be. Uh, 
generating the graphical uh, results I'm going to show you in a minute. All right, so now we have a set of this configuration and the next thing is to add something called a a a a, 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 a trade group. So right click on the plan and say add trade group. So trade group is simply a way to simulate connection to the database. So I'm going to be simulating 10 users connecting to the database and they are going to be connecting 10 times. All right, so that's a trade group and trade group uh, that is fine, that is good. So the next thing is to add a sampler. A sampler specifies the the requests you want to, to sign. So I'm going to go to, uh, it's going to be JDBC requests. So here I'm going to add the select statement. Select star from telescope data. That's the name of the table. Okay, so at this point, specify the name of the request pool. So if you go to MySQL plan, you can see no JDBC connection configuration. You can see MySQL pool, the variable name for the pool. So just Copy it and use you specify it right there in the in the in the in the request, which is the sampler. And write the select statement. The next thing is to add a listener. A listener is a, is a way to visualize the output of your text. So I'm going to right click here and add a listener. Just take the first one, which is view resolve tree. All right, that's all. You don't need to do anything much. So save. Um, are we forgetting anything? Okay, hopefully not. Hopefully not. So, I'm going to try to run this at this point. Let's see if we have some results. So, let me run by clicking on this button right here. Let's click. So, uh, so I can see the request is actually running, but it's failing. So, if I click on it, it says cannot create portable connection. The server time zone calls. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. So if you have this server time zone issue, it means that you need to correct it in the database URL. Specify the time zone as a parameter for the database URL. What I mean is this. Go back to the connection configuration. So right here, simply append the server time zone for your region. So here I'm going to say server time zone equals for me I'm in, in, in I'm in Central Europe so it's gonna be UTC UTC of course you can specify any time zone alright so I'm going to save I'm going to go back to the results tree I'm going to play everything using this uh, using this icon right here so just play alright so let's run it again and let's see what we have let's see if it passes the test this time so now you can see that the JDB request is, is, is working correctly. You can actually see everything about this request. For instance, if I click on the first one, you can see the trade name, but you can also see the request. So this is selected main, and you can see the request headers. I probably should display here. So we don't specify any request header. But the important thing, or the key thing also is the response data you can see. So, this is a response, that is the, 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 the data fetched from the database from this select statement. We have this data return. Alright, so this is how to to to, to perform uh, JDBC uh, testing, performance testing for my SQL database. Now let me just show you the reports that uh, the dashboard reports in case you want you are curious about the report I was talking about. So if I double click on this. This report is generated automatically. So if I go to dashboard, but this is actually a report generated from another test I performed using select statement, update statement, and callable statement, which is called procedure. All right, so uh, we, we are going to be looking at this in the next, uh, in the subsequent tutorials we are going to be seeing. I'll show you how to actually generate this report. For now, I hope you understand now how to perform a test using um, Perform a, 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 a perform a performance test in my scale using Jamie I would like to thank you for viewing. Remember to subscribe, like this video, and share it if this has been informative for you. If you have challenges, please do leave me a comment below this video.